There is plenty of activity starting today and going through this weekend in downtown Macon. The Pan-African Festival begins tonight, and there is more than what can be possibly talked about for things to do. Nicole Thurston stopped in our studio to give us the rundown of what's going on to support the Tubman African American Museum. Well, tonight we're going to start off with our poetry theater. That's going to take place at the Douglas Theater at 7 p.m. and it's free. It's a little mini kickoff for us. This is also, um, we're in National Poetry Month, so we want to celebrate that also. Everyone can come out. There's going to be a documentary called Louder Than a Bomb, and it's about a poetry slam where students from Chicago came together, and it shows kind of the struggles of trying to take um, your art and, and be competitive about it. Hmm. And then afterwards, we're going to have local spoken artists share some of their work. So that's tonight. And then on Friday, we have our big kickoff for the Pan-African Festival downtown. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be in Cherry Street Plaza, which is in front of the new Tubman and across from the Georgia Sports Hall of Fame, sure. where the terminal station yep, is. Yep. We're going to have music and phenomenal food and shopping. It's going to be a little bit more low-key on Friday night, and that's from 5 to 10. Okay. Then on Saturday, that's the big one. We okay. want everyone to come out <laughs> at 11 a.m. 11 a.m. we have the opening ceremony, which includes a um, interfaith, uh, I guess kind of almost like a service. Okay. We're going to have Rabbi, Rabbi Schlesinger open up. We're going to have a proclamation from uh, the uh, from the Bibb County, and it's going to be Sam Hart. And we're going to have some Nigerian dancers. We're going to have some African drummers, and it's going to be really All kinds phenomenal. Of stuff going yes. On. You've got to be probably one of the easiest interviews I have ever done. But let's go in a, a, sure. a dig in just a little bit sure, more specifically. Sure. Um, all of these events, the Pan-African Festival, supporting the African American mm -hmm. Tubman Museum, right. how is this supporting? Is sure. this a fundraiser? What's, what, sure. what is this? Thing? It's actually one of our signature events and it is a fundraiser. Now how you can come for free is the fact that we have wonderful corporate sponsors. Okay. We have um, the vendors that come in, that's the money that comes to us also. And what's great about this is that all the money that comes goes right back into our educational programs. For example, our Heritage Camp, our Outreach Program, mm -hmm. our John Oliver Killens Workshop, our Distance Learning, everything that we do this money is raised for education and this is actually put on through our education department okay one mm -hmm. of the things that caught my eye when I was going through this uh, I believe it is Saturday at the Akmulgee mm -hmm. Indian Mounds there's mm -hmm. something for the kids going yes. on where they can make pots is well, that something new this year actually it is and they're coming to the festival okay. which we're very excited about and we're going to have the Georgia Power International Children's Village it's gonna be shaped like a little horseshoe and what we're saying is children can basically travel to Africa you can go from the country from A to Z I guess like Al um, Algeria to Zimbabwe Way, sure. you know <laughs> and um, if we don't have a country represented there'll be something there in its place for example let's say African drums or beating tons of hands-on activities yeah. and it's all free for the kids and free is good and that wasn't even close to everything that is going on with the festival to get the complete rundown you can just check out the museum's website that is tubmanmuseum.com